Well, the good news is I think I finally figured out exactly how to run the filament from my pod-driven stepper motors. You can see the filament right here. It's this little fishing line. It's actually called Spectra. It's a very, very high strength, low, um, low stretch uh, filament. This one supports up to 65 pounds, a 65 pound test. And what I've done is I've mounted my motors here in the center, as you can see, with these little, little capstan pulleys. The filament winds on and off of these. And I'm currently just printing something uh, that I had that, that uh, just allows me to make sure that the, the filament is not going to bind like it was before. Only one of the carriages is actually up and running. You can see here what it does is it goes past my. Um, this is a support here for the um, for the glass bed, and it goes in through this little hole right there. And uh, this isn't quite finished. I'm going to reprint those, and then the filament travels around two little bearings that are basically buried inside of that blue blue housing right here. Um, one of them then attaches directly to the bottom of my carriage and the other one travels upward continues on to the very very top where there is another bearing carrier, an idler there's actually a bearing buried up inside this little area in here and there's a tensioner that allows me to adjust that bearing so that allows me to put tension on the filament then it travels back down the other direction there's an end stop right there, a little micro end stop. Travels back down inside the extrusion where it meets up with the top of the carrier. It's pretty straightforward. A lot of buttoning up to do with the electronics. This is going to go in a little case. I have a cable that attaches it to the back of the printer. And all this, that wiring is all over the place right now as well. It'll be buttoned up and hidden away for the most part. And then here is the heart of the extrusion system. It's a J hot end from hotends.com. LED lights around the base. A fan. Uh, RC car rod ends with aluminum rods and these are what are bolted onto the vertical carriages. This is a Delta robot and this is where the filament goes into the hot end. That was printed with the threads. Very nice piece of work from Thingiverse. And I'm currently finishing up the wiring for the thermistor, the hot end, the fan, and the light. And then it'll all travel back uh, through this wiring harness over here uh, into the box here. So that's about it. Oh, I guess I should say that the extruder actually sits right here on this rail and the rail has enough room for a vertical carriage to pass behind it right there. Well, there you go, that's the Cerberus progress report for today. So, very promising result to my um, idler bearing replacement.